because I could beat the hard AI. <laughs> well played. <laughs> so embarrassing. I, I, I was 13, and I thought I was a really good player because I could beat the hard AI. And then I came on, excuse me, and I lost the first game. Not just a loss. I got destroyed. I almost wanted to cry after it. It was not even close. I was like, what the hell just happened? And I realized I have to go back from the beginning. I am nowhere near pro. But hey, uh, I got there eventually. Regan, thanks for 100 bits. Hey, here, I just heard the news about the Hunt's Longshot. Hope you're doing well. Oh, uh, recovering was easy for me. I did lose the Hunt's Longshot earlier. Mag the Knight, thanks for the tier one for three months. What's up, Heron Chat? Been a minute. GG Man, well played. Japanese Arambai was Pog. Indeed, it was. Thanks for the subs, guys. I used to beat the 7v1 on Hardest. Re really? That's hard. 7v1 Hardest? If you were able to do that without cheat codes? That's pretty impressive. I wish I had rediscovered this game when I was still in school. Why did you re uh, rediscover it then, Poix? Was it DE that brought you back? Or was it like late Voobly times? Not really when you know AI, just walls? Ah, I see you. you. You're like cheesing them. Yeah, the old AI especially is very easy to cheese. Right after you graduated, late Voobly era. Ah, makes sense, makes sense. That's a weird time to rediscover it as well, I feel. But I guess- uh, actually no, I guess YouTube videos were kind of popping off during that time. Yeah, yeah, uh, T90 was popping off there with the YouTube vids. DEAI is much tougher. Yeah, DEAI is solid for sure. Very solid. Uh, let's go ahead and pick up that elephant. Alright. Imagine being, imagine beating the HD AI on extreme. Was it hard? Never really played HD, so I'm not really sure. Yeah, extreme AI is around 1k, 1k, 1 ELO. Are you allowed to stream Stormgate today or is it only from the 5th? If you are allowed, I'll rejoin later and watch. I am allowed to stream it and I will be streaming it. So I'd like to see you come back, man, for it. I'd love to have you on the stream. The 5th is open for everyone uh, to play it. I got some special access to allow me today. And also, I don't really know what to expect from Storm Stormgate, guys. I'm kind of just going to play it, mess around, give some commentary, and I'll let you guys make your opinion of it. Like, I... I have no idea what to expect. It's still in the closed beta though, so if there's anything I you know I can give feedback to the to the developers, I'll make sure to, to notes. Why did I choose a girl's name? Uh, I I wanted to just join a clan called the Mortals back in the day. We needed um we needed a mythological figure name, and I wanted to go with Ra, but Ra was already taken, so I was like, okay, that's the only one I knew. And then I was like, oh, Hera, that's kind of close. And I kind of just stuck with it. Um, it's funny because I wanted to change my name after because I didn't exactly like the name Hera. It's not like it's great for me. Um, but then I figured everyone already knows me as Hera. If I change my name now, it's kind of weird. So I just kept it. Also, coming up with a name was extremely difficult. I was not a creative. I mean, I'm still not a creative person. Not really, anyway. Um, but especially coming up with names, I'm not great at that. Era is goddess of motherhood and childbirth. I mean, it does make sense. I mean, since my age career, I've given birth to two children, Mr. Yo and Hearts, and I take really good care of them on the ladder, make sure they never beat me. So I think it's pretty appropriate. You have two children. You make a lot of bills. A lot of bills is absolutely necessary. Your bills can learn these guys too. Yeah, I'm Javidians for Spurbers. All right, uh, that's a hard matchup. I can imagine Genitor giving me a lot of problems. I'll probably try to... I'm going to open... Hmm. I'm going to open Scrim Spear and see how that takes me. 
Yeah, I, I think the name Hera's fine. Um, I'm not big on it being mythology related, but I think it's fine. The name itself is whatever. Strong Baha, monthly reminder. I love you. Love you too, brother. Thank you so much for the love in the 40 months. I appreciate it. You're one of my most loyal, most positive viewers, man. You've been consistent for 40 months with the same message. Respect. Go back, go back. Come on. Alright. Um, I don't even know where he's at. And I'm late in my barracks. So a few things definitely did go wrong uh, here. And he's going to open with range. Interesting. Uh, I think that is going to be skirms for him. Hmm. I have an idea. Something I want to try. It involves skipping horse collar though. So we're going to open... Okay, not that. Not that. We're not going to try that. I already know how that one ends. Uh, we're going to try opening some skirms. And then I'm going to switch up and go for the double siege workshop play in castle with pikes. Let's try that. Let's try that. See how it goes. I think it'll be sick. It's an all-in push that I've been loving recently. Absolutely loving it. Can make one spear? Try to catch him out. Just going to make a few skirms to stay safe. Not too many. Uh, I'll more or less want to wall one side. I could keep one side open, but if I can wall one side, it'll make my life a little bit easier. Now, what I'm doing is not a good strategy. It's, in fact, very, very fragile, but it's a fun strat, and we're streaming, and fun is the number one goal. So we're going to try to get as many, as many of that as possible. My strat, you're welcome, by the way. Thank you, Timo. I actually didn't get it from you, though. I'm not, not saying that just because of the ego as well. I, I had known about it for quite some time now. But I, I'll give you the credit. Why not? It's your strat, man. All right. We're going to stay on just a couple skirms. I don't think I'm going to make too many of them. And we're going to go up with markets to sell stone. There be a Hera in Age of Mythology with Told. I think there is one. Or I think there will be one. I'm not sure though. I hope so. It's my name right there. It's a permanent advertisement. Imagine the people searching up like Age of Mythology guides or whatever or gameplay and then they search Hera and my channel comes up and it's AW2 and like, oh, this game's way better. And then they come play AW2 and bam, look at that. We get more AV2 viewers. Age of Mythology was awesome. Yeah, Age of Mythology is great. I love that as well. I don't like what he's doing here. It's good for him. He's pushing me back. to see it 50 50 me let's go five hp each oh, 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 oh. oh my god you absolutely love to see it there all right we're gonna have to uh, queue more spears now and i think a few more skirms as well just to make sure we win the skirm battle and we're gonna go forward with double workshop Now, that's some gaps between the buildings. Yeah, no, I'm not walled. I'm aware of that. It's okay. The blacksmith. I'm going to see if he's got a stable going up somewhere else. I'm going to stay close here just because I want to see if he's making a lot of range units or not. Because I don't want to be making skirms at all. But if he has a lot of skirms, then I kind of have to match them so they don't kill all my, uh, all my spears. Okay, that's fine. That's uh, completely fine. Just a few of them. No no big deal. Let's go forward now. Two bills. Uh, 
You go for the double workshop, stable coming down. Don't even want this realistically. Rocky, thanks for that four months tier one. Appreciate it a lot. Trading the scrims, which is actually amazing for me. Double workshop. Pikeman. Squires. Okay. So far, so good. Not rams. <laughs> oh my god, uh, my economy is managed to make rams, not elephants. I guess I have to go. Damn, the sip is even complicated for this kind of stuff. All right, I guess we'll go two two mangonels maybe. Completely forgot about elephants. Can't even garrison them. <laughs> push is push is a little suspicious, guys. <laughs> Not gonna lie, this push is a little bit suspicious. All right, we'll, we'll try our best to salvage this. Oh, that's really good. Gain value. I mean, the elephant shouldn't be like shouldn't be bad. It's not like it's a bad unit. It's fine. I think it's good. Down the hill? Uh... Big loss. Really big loss. Up. I don't think this is a play. Oh my god. Sick. We're 100% win rate with this rush. The two siege workshops, even with the elephants, apparently still, still nice. So like what happened is the elephant sapped my food, so I couldn't really afford too many pikes. Um, But that was sick. That was really good. I think we could even jump straight to mangonels. We probably, we probably don't even need the the rams. I mean, I like the rams because it, it just clears the field. But I feel like the siege workshop going or like the mangonels scales better than the rams. That was sick. Like we're just exploding people's base. Like he doesn't even have wood now. 
it's a really strong rush. It leaves me extremely vulnerable at home, by the way, which I think is actually a good thing because he then will go counterattack and he won't realize how fast I'm pushing with my push. And I can just deal with the counterattack with a few pikes or monks and my push just kills his talents and it kills everything.